Uh, six hundred fifty dollars. That's not. Yeah, much. I was I was cleaning toilets. Uh, well, guys, now I will tell you about Bitcoin. I first world and crypto. You had to be willing to lose money to learn. Hello, guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Maria Anderson. We talk about crypto, blockchain, money, and investments here. And today, guys, I have a super, super special guest, my friend Andres, who is a crypto OG founder and a lot of a lot of cool things. Hello, Andres. How are you? Today? How are you, Maria? Thank you so much for being uh, for for inviting me to yeah. your show. It's always been amazing. We met nearly two years ago, and we finally managed to get the podcast today. Yeah, I'm so happy. I can't wait to talk to you about your story because you have a very very yeah. inspiring story and also i want to talk about meme coins let's talk about meme coins yeah, yeah. i know you love meme coins a lot yeah well yeah. you have a lot in the computer yeah, in the yeah. laptop yeah, <laughs> the yeah and inside and inside <laughs> yeah, yeah so, maria no thank you so much for being the show so for people that don't know me my name is andres meneses i am from colombia uh i need 40 years old so i'll be 40 in a couple of months i've been in crypto since 2016 um I start like everybody else. I saw this article about Bitcoin mm. on Facebook, and it said the the cryptocurrency is a scam. Okay. That that was the article, and um, because I study computer engineering and information security, the word crypto got me. I said, "What is this?" I start to re research. Long story short, I jump into crypto. I have made money, lost money, like everybody else. And uh, eight years down the line. Um, the last two years, I've, I've been building a lot. Yeah. You know, the last two years have been the bear market since FTX and Terra Luna and all of that. I've been building a presence. I built Crypto G that became one of the became the number one podcast on Binance Live. Yeah, I know. That's a streaming platform. And then after that, we created the OG Media Group and the co-founder. Uh, but yeah, my I'm very passionate about crypto. I, I it started as a way to make money, but now it's a way to inspire and build communities and help people to understand about finance and freedom. That's for sure, for sure. Wow, so cool. But what made you believe back then in blockchain technology in general? Because, you know, we still have a lot yeah. of people who are like, oh, your blockchain, it will go to zero, especially yes. when the internet will be shut down, you know, and yeah. everything. What made you believe? You didn't have any dream or a miracle, I don't know. No. What did you do? It was... It was a long journey at the beginning, actually, and it, it was a, until after a couple of years, even though I was all in, in crypto, I said, okay, this is changing the world, the finance. Yeah. So when I started to research, the first case of a study that I found it was M-Pesa. M-Pesa was a way to pay for uh, bills in an African country. I think it was Uganda or Zimbabwe, I can't remember. Wow. But they were using SMS to pay for utilities, like people that live, uh, for example, one or two hours from the nearest place to pay for the electricity, they have to walk. In, that oh. happened a lot also in Colombia. So I saw this video about M-Pesa, that was even before Bitcoin. I, I saw this video about M-Pesa and how they were using SMS to pay for utilities, mm. kind of like their own banking, right? And then I started to research about Bitcoin and crypto because I was living in the UK, I was making 500 pounds a month, around. That's I how much in dollars? Like 650 dollars. That's not Yeah, I was, I was cleaning toilets <gasps> uh, at Bournemouth University, I remember. I was making coffees. It was three years like that, you know? I was hustling. Mm. I didn't have papers, but I did have my papers, but I was a student, so I have to study and I have to work. I had to pay everything myself. Um, so long story short, I did send money to my mom, to Colombia, just just because I want to. Yeah. Uh, for example, I was sending a hundred dollars, and then this company were taking twenty dollars. I said there might be a way to send money to them, right? So I started to research crypto, Bitcoin. And then I say, send me your wallet. So I send them wallet, and then they start to do P 2 P. That's why I understood the power of crypto and the unbank. Yeah. But also I start to read this book called Digital Gold, the untold story of Bitcoin. Yeah by Nathaniel Popper, yeah. that book for me, obviously the blockchain I read the white paper and computer engineering is amazing, by the philosophy point of view, that book helped me a lot to understand how the crypto worlds and also how Satoshi Nakamoto start with his journey, you know? He had to be like committed himself. He had to reach out people on email, hey, 
you know, I'm building this new technology. Yeah. Wanna you want to try? You yeah. want to try and yeah. download into your computer? Let's do validators. And then there was those two guys that helped him. Yeah. So he had to reach out. He had to build a community from scratch before social media, Twitter, yeah. content creators. He had to do it himself manually. Well, yeah, he did it. So all of that started for Digital Gold, Nathaniel Popper, and then um, I started to watch a little bit of uh, Andreas Antaponopoulos. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then he was selling about Bitcoin and he was paying everything with Bitcoin and traveling the world talking about Bitcoin. I did a lot of hours watching videos, reading. Um, so, yeah, that's how it started. But at the beginning, you make it for the money, right? You think, okay, it's good, I'm going to make money. But then you, uh, you start to understand that's more than the money. Of course. It's the purpose and how it's going to change many lives. Yeah. So cool. So do you think blockchain is going to change the world? It's changing it right now, step by step, right? Okay. Um, four years ago or five years ago, we saw Goldman Sachs yeah. and BlackRock and all of these big institutions talking against crypto. Now they're into it. They're yeah. actually control. Well, they're a big part of the market right now. They're that trying we don't know. to control. They're trying to control. Mm. Now, as... For the technology blockchain, I like to put this that it will take probably a hundred years to be a stream to okay. everybody. People say it's taking too long. But look, if you think, let's talk about finance. Yeah. Probably 200, 300 years ago, people were using uh, silver or yeah. gold, right? Yeah, yeah. To change uh, before currencies, yeah. right? And then before that, it was trade between, I'll give you some eggs, you give me some chicken. That was like, thousand years ago. Now, if we go fast forward, a hundred years ago, we didn't have debit cards, credit cards, right? For sure. It was only cash. Yeah. And then we start to get the first debit card. I don't know, Maria, how was where you were living, but remember when I was living in Colombia in the 90s, there were no debit cards. No, I was living in the USSR. And, and that was, sure. No. That, <laughs> was, and that was only 30 years ago. Yeah. So look, the banking system, it was invented more, well, nearly 100 years ago. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. it took nearly 60, 80 years to get to debit cards. And when the debit cards started, nobody wants to use them. Everybody was scared of them. Of course. Right? Because where is money? Where, where is the money? Yeah. And then it took a long time from debit cards to internet banking. Probably we've been using it for the last 10 years. Mm-hmm. But at the beginning, we were scared to log in on the internet banking, transfer money from money. You see, it took a long time to get there. Yeah. And now we're in contactless with Apple Pay. But that has been the last three years. So if you think since the bank were created or since the debit card were created to Apple Pay, it took 50 years. Yeah. And that's still using the fiat currency, the paper note, everything that you know. Mm-hmm. Now imagine putting this idea of on the 7 billion of people that we are. For Let's talk about blockchain and finance. Yeah. To put the idea that we one day will be use only blockchain to do everything on finance. It will take a hundred years. Our kids will learn now, mm. and they will teach their kids, and then the, our third generation it, they will use in it like we're using Apple Pay now. Yeah. Our, if you ask somebody that's ninety or hundred years old now, they say, "Wow, it took that long for them two generations to teach you about technology, yeah. digital currency, and all of that." So I will say. 100 years blockchain. 100, that's a lot. I think 50. But you know what is the good part? <laughs> yeah. That we are helping us as our early adopters. Yeah. It's better for us. That takes longer. We teach our kids about yeah, that. Yeah, it w- it's more work for us, of course. Yeah. But if everybody will know already that, I, I have to be a bit selfish, there will be no like business model for all of us, if you think. Everybody will know, so it will be less valuable the tokens and the knowledge. Wow, yeah. If you think that way. Yeah, true. So it's good that not everybody knows. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Do you teach your kids about blockchain and everything? I taught them. Uh, my two kids, they are mixed. You know, they're Colombian and England in English. They, mm-hmm. they, they were born in the UK. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the, the, in their mindset, at school, they're very classic, traditional, you know, nine to five uh, yeah. banks and all of that. But my son is very, you know, all the kids are like your son, they're very entrepreneurs right now. Yeah, they, they are. They talk about creating yeah. content yeah. and becoming streamers. And something that they recently, because I travel a lot, I start to collect the currencies from all the countries that I go. Mm-hmm. 
and I leave them somewhere, and then my son asks me, Daddy, what is all of this? I say, there are currencies from different countries. Okay, mm. can I change them? Because we, we went to Dubai from the UK a couple of months ago, and I showed him how to change. And then we, I have like 20 currencies from different countries, and he took them all, and writing a piece of paper, and I started to research how much it was and how much he was going to get in pounds. Okay. And then he brought his sister to help him. She doesn't understand much, but mm-hmm. they did the job and they make like a hundred dollars off the 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 exchange. Yeah. The exchange. So that's how I'm teaching them. They don't know much about crypto yet. They know that is doing public speaking and all of that, but they don't care. They just want daddy. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, they are listening to you, yeah. they are seeing you online, everywhere. This is what I'm talking about. Like, if you want to teach your kids, yes, teach yourself, you know, educate yourself because your kids will follow. They are yeah. like, you know, SpongeBob, you know, SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah. So this is our kids. They, yeah. they absorb all the information we give them. Yeah. For example, I know your kids are still small, yeah. but my son is 14 yeah. now. And he has his own ledger. I give to him amazing. a ledger. He knows how to receive Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum. He, wa- he, other he coins. was telling me yesterday that he was going to put some money in a meme token. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He wants because he sees how profitable my <laughs> my meme coins are, and he wants some. He wants to trade some. He wants to. But I always tell him, you know, my son never invest in meme coins more than you can afford to uh, lose. So if you if you are ready to lose your fifty dollars, okay. Allowance, go go yeah. into into it, yeah. Yeah, wow. If you if you are not willing to lose, or even maybe if you don't know any strategy, yeah. don't go into meme coins. Yes, okay. Yeah. We get to meme coin because actually the narrative meme coin yeah. is based in f- having fun, right? Yeah, of course. Something that probably your son and my son have in common is all the video games that they play, but also they go on YouTube, they're always watching memes. No meme talking, yeah, yeah, memes. Yeah, just memes. Just, just memes. Random jokes. Random yeah. jokes. Um, so, but what you say, Maria, yes, they absorb everything, but now that they're living here in Dubai, it's going to be different. In the UK, you have to be conservative, but now here, oh, because gosh. they're going to be with me, okay. probably going to the meetings like you, they're going yeah. to learn more. I hope so. And uh, yeah, I will do my best for them to learn about crypto and blockchain. Yeah. And financial freedom. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But this is not a financial advice, guys. No, 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 this video is financial advice. But anyway, educate yourself about blockchain. This is an advice, okay? <laughs> no financial advice to your own research, right? Yeah, 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 of course, for sure. So you were saying about memes. You are the queen of memes. <laughs> yeah, I am. Okay. Well, I was back in 2021, but I, I, I think I, I'm still a meme coin queen. You were talking about memes even before people started to talk the last year. Yeah, that's And people for sure. didn't like it. Now yeah. they like it. Yeah, you know what I see now? A lot of those even like content creators and crypto educators, they didn't like meme coins back in 2021. Yeah. Everyone mostly. I didn't like it. Yeah, I know, I know. Manda, my friend, he didn't like it. Da Vinci was not into really memes. into memes. And all the guys from the space uh, whom I personally know, they didn't like it. But back in 2021, I made a lot of money on memes because I... I I saw this opportunity. I don't yeah. know how, maybe just women intuition or something. Yeah. I saw that people love it. This is what people want. This is not something I invented, you know. Yeah. This is what I saw. People really liked those meme coins. They 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 gained like huge communities, like thousands, millions of people. Yeah. And if people want something, they will get it. Otherwise, you like it or hate it. Yeah, yeah. And look at us now. We have all those blockchains. We have crazy like amount of meme coins. Also, you know, we were talking with Your our friend, our yeah. friend, and yeah. he was talking about liquidity of Solana. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's driving the whole memes. Can you imagine? So uh, there was a number two months ago. It was three hundred million of dollar trading fees yeah. based on Solana transaction. It's That's a lot of crazy. money. Crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. So what do you personally think about memes? You told me that you hated memes. I hated memes. Actually, I, <laughs> I was doing a podcast four or five months ago. Okay. And then I was saying, I'm never doing a memes. I'm never going to do this. Ah, I want see. utility, blah, blah, blah. For me, everything starts with a project that my friend asked me for help. So he said, mm-hmm. Andres, can you help me? Yeah. You know? And I said, okay, I'll give you a go. So I brought my team. And we help him with the community, moderation, all of that. Mm-hmm. And then I'm not going to say how much I make or not make. Actually, I didn't, in one point, I have nearly half a million dollars of this meme. I didn't sell. I hold it. 
So you still hold it? No, it, now it's, it's not much money. Okay. But I learned a lot. Mm-hmm. And I tell you in, in I mean, the other part of memes. Okay. So with that project, I learned a lot, you know, about community. Yeah, community is is a must. I had a, and I have a community, but with memes, you have to be super fast. Yeah, I know. You have yeah. to be daily, you have to give them incentive you every day. You have to track this all every what day. is happening. It's a, it's a, it's yeah. a fast pace. People think that meme talking just put in Solana and just put in and pink cell radio and sell is easy. No. Yeah. It's a heavy lifting. It's like running a proper business. Yeah, I know. You, you need everybody. So for me, that first project helped me. Actually, I saw how my wallet went from X amount of money, and it was 50X in two days. That's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. So you would have put $1,000, you would have get 50000 Yeah. But I also saw how it went down. Yeah. So that opened my mind because I, 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 I saw on the wallet. And also, yeah. I start to believe in Solana. Actually, I start talking with Solana after that. You see? Yeah. And then I saw it. I said, okay, this is no, this is something that's going, is, yeah. is good. But also something really difficult on memes is, especially in Solana, is the first meme that you do as a user. Mm-hmm. You're scared because you have to buy, you know, in a, you have to buy Solana yeah. in an exchange or whatever. Then send it to a DEX. Yeah. And in the DEX, you have to add the smart contract of this random project. And then you swap, and sometimes in pre you have to hope for the best. Yeah, and you don't see your tokens immediately. You don't know. So you are just, that's, I think that's the most difficult part. Yeah. But people, after you do the first meme token, and look, that's what you said, you have to be willing to lose the whole money on meme tokens. Yeah, yeah. They highly risk, the very highly risk. I know. And then, Okay, that happened with the project. It was good. Actually, I was doing my hair transplant in Istanbul, mm. and they launched that day. I was with, in the clinic just sending me. It was insane. It was crazy. Everything all at once. Yeah, it happened I, all it, at once. That happened with me. You have to do it. You don't know what's going to launch. Yeah. You don't know anything. Now, as a user, I think so is the easiest way to understand crypto. Why Dogecoin became so popular? Because yeah. you don't need to understand the white paper of Bitcoin. Uh, Satoshi Nakamoto, peer-to-peer transaction, decentralization. Yeah. Fa- no, you just are putting efforts in a picture of a dog. Yeah, so that's it's it. It's easier to understand, right? A dog, I buy here, I see how it goes. And then, but from somebody that into crypto, once you jump into memes, you have to take them seriously. Yeah. Okay, so I done probably four projects of memes. One, I held the main debt. Actually, you want to learn about crypto and community building and liquidity and about market makers, and about thought, about, uh, yeah, probably everything. everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Create your meme token project. You learn so fast in one yeah. or two weeks. It's not that easy, but you learn a lot. Even you learn about how the market works. Yeah, for sure. And you don't have to have a lot of money. You have to have just people that want to chip in with you, put in Solana. And just see how it goes. But remember, just be willing to lose all your money. No financial advice, yeah. do your own research. Oh, sure. maybe you become a millionaire like the Dogecoin millionaire. Yeah, I know this guy. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. my friend. Have you met him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, online only. Online, but yeah, it's, yeah. he's crazy. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. He's a uh, no financial advice. The name of his the, the movie. Yeah, yeah so yeah. cool. And uh, yeah, he invested in Dogecoin back then, even before Elon Musk started all those viral tweets. Yeah. Well, uh, as he told me, as this guy, Glauber, told me, so he found, find, found out that Elon Musk tweeted about Dogecoin once, and then he's like, hmm, it might be something interesting. So if this guy tweeted about Dogecoin once, he will probably do it again. Yeah. And then this guy, Glauber, he sold everything. 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 He was living in like in a little apartment. Tiny. And yeah. with nothing. He wasn't buying anything. Yeah, and he invested everything in Dogecoin. But this is not what we recommend for no. sure. They never do that. This is super risky. But actually, that's a very good documentary to watch. I was watching the plane the other day when yeah. I was going to Japan. Because people think when you're in crypto, obviously there is wealth, right? Mm-hmm. But people don't see the other side. People can lose all the money. Yeah. Most of the people, including myself, when I first I made my first million dollars in 2017, I was spending like an idiot. I wasn't say I spent more than 200 bitcoins in business class. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. Yeah. yeah. So you watch that video, 
and actually I admire this guy a lot because he was, I think he was in one point a $4 million up. Yeah, yeah. He made. And he was going to like a small shop to buy groceries. He yeah, wasn't yeah. spending, and he had a normal car. So he had a crazy old car, crazy not old normal car. car. It was a super old car, and he never wanted to sell any of his Dogecoin and buy a new one. And that's why we have to be careful, also, especially in Dubai, yeah. right? You see people uh, driving expensive car, buying watches, yeah. and all of that, which is nice. Or have, going to nice. I like a good life, you know. Yeah. I come from nothing. I'm from Colombia. I'm very humble. I have to sleep in the floor, sleep in, in a mm. sweet hotel, but. Now, after I've been a long time in the industry, I start to tell people, look, I'm going to do this because to show people. I don't want to show people. Yeah. Actually, people is asking me, and that's why you're going to leave. I say, look, the, my first year in Dubai, I want to go low cost. Yeah, that's good. Low cost. I don't want to live in the, I don't Blah, know, on the in the palm. palm. <laughs> I have a lot of friends that live in the palm, but they've been yeah, living here for a long time, right? Yeah. Um, keep it low cost. I don't want to have seven cars. As long as my kids have education, yeah. we have uh, good food. food. Yeah. But also, I have the money that I make right now, I invest in my business in people to scale up. Amazing. And also, I hold in. I hold because I made a mistake. Mm. I met the co founder of Gala. You know Gala Games? Yeah, of course. Right, Thorston. I was in his house back in October in Utah to mm -hmm. invite me. Mm -hmm. And he was talking to a bunch of people, entrepreneurs, and he said, guys, when I start Gala, he had, I think he has 10 kids, 10 kids. 10 kids, I didn't know that. And he oh said, when God. I start Gala and Bitcoin and all of that, I was holding everything. I cut all my expenses to $10,000 a month. Okay. Remember, mm -hmm. this American guy living in Utah with 10 kids, you need a lot of money, right? For sure. <laughs> so he didn't spend any money. He was just accumulating, accumulating crypto, 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 and then the bull run hits and then he became a billionaire. So I'm following mm. his advice. Yeah. So, Would you recommend to all those guys who made fast money to do the same? They have to spread their journey. Yeah. They have to have their own journey, you know? I did the same. I made money and I lost it all for overspending. Yeah, for sure. But then when you make it, Women are better at this. You are more strategic with the money. Well, you know, I love spending my money on stuff, but I never spend more than 10% of my income. There you go. That's good. So I, I'm very strict with that. We need more uh, tips from Maria. Investing good memes and 10% of the income. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's So, true. yeah. So I think so. you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. But um, now we're in good time. Okay, so August is coming. Yeah. The market is quiet. But you this time just to learn to build and then get ready for set. It's going to get really busy. And I keep telling my team and my friends and everybody ask me. The next we're going to have more bull marks in the future. Yeah. Sure. But this is the last one that's going to be big. Crazy. So you have to be all in or nothing. Yeah. Or just do something else. So do you hold your meme coins for a long time or do you have kind of exit strategy or every meme coin is different? Or? Every meme coin is different. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want um, to know. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful, okay? Okay, there's two parts. One, okay. if you're a normal investor, mm -hmm. you can sell whenever, right? Because you're just jumping in, in a... Actually, that's very good. As the content creators or as a community leaders or as a devs, yeah. we get trigger more by the community. So it's actually not a great holding meme because you sell, the people will know. Yeah. And they say, oh, mm -hmm. why are you dumping on me, right? Mm -hmm. But if you are smart and you know where to invest the meme tokens, yeah. and then you sell, people won't judge you because you are no, you are a retail user. Yeah. So for us, sure. that's why you asked me the question, what I do in my, with my memes? I sell, yes, but I, I like to also buy another memes. Mm -hmm. I like to also invest in people that are putting memes together. Not only money, if not my time, my alpha groups. Interesting. My neighbor. Yeah, you have to keep helping because some people is... Yeah. And I understand because I have done it, so it's a lot yeah. of work. For sure, yeah. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. You know, those people who are just buying, selling meme coins, just random, just it, normal people, they, they don't understand how much work it is it, behind those projects and behind everything. Yeah, but I think some... Look, meme tokens are going to get, I think they're going to get regulated at some point. 
I don't know how they next year they do will. It. Not yet, not yet, but in a couple of years. Maybe they will compare meme quests to a lottery or to gambling. Probably. But I don't know, but, but we still have a couple of years to we still make have a couple money. Of years. Yeah, so we need to carry on following Maria's advice yeah. about memes. Yeah, well, I don't know. You know, I'm not always profitable when I invest in 10 memes. Maybe only one, one. meme will, will be super successful. But if that one meme will make me at least 50x or 100x, I don't care about the rest of the memes yeah. because I made profits on one. This is what I call my strategy. This is my diversification strategy. And also, when I personally invest in meme coins, yeah. I'm super careful, you know? I usually take out my initial investment. This is how as, I do as, yeah, as soon very as, fast. As soon as it's uh, like 2x or 3x, it. I take out my initial investment because I just don't want to lose money. It makes yes. me not feel comfortable when I lose yes. my money. I don't yeah, want yeah. to. I lost a lot of money also back in 2021. Wow. So I don't want to. I just take out my initial investment, and then okay, if it go, if it will go up, I'm I'm fine. If it if it will go to zero, I'm also fine. There is a lot of people that like I go based on how I feel, energy, and all of that when yeah. I'm going to Telegram groups. Or normally it's a friend that tell, hey, I have this coming up. Something that people need to understand: we've been long time in the industry, yeah, yeah, and sure. we get uh, calls from people from alphas, and then we say, hey, it's going to be good. So people need to understand this also is a big group of people behind meme tokens yeah. and they normally are the whales. Yeah. So if two, three, four, five, ten whales get together, then they start to call the alpha groups and then the people start to buy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when you are new into memes and you buy, you don't know all this operation is happening. You yeah. need just based on the narrative and committee, no, but it's being organized. Obviously, there are some rock pools. Which a is lot really a levels. lot, probably 90%. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful going to DEX or the screen or DEX tool and check the smart contract if the liquidity yeah. Yeah. is locked. Mm -hmm. Very important. Most of the memes, people don't show who are the founders, the devs, but you can check their stats on Telegram, Twitter. It's a lot of stuff that you can check before buying a token, right? Yeah. So, yeah, liquidity lock is very important. And now timing. Timing is important. For example, we had two months, three months ago, it was insane. Then it went down. And then when the Solana ETF got approved, it mm -hmm. went up again. So you learn this with the skin in the game. I have many friends that have been telling about buying crypto for mm -hmm. eight, nine years. And they say, Andres, well, I can work with you. We can do something together. I say, no, you need to have a skin in the game. When you put a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, one hundred, whatever money you can afford yeah. in a crypto and you lose it, that's when you get skin in the game. That's what you learn to lose. And then you need to prepare yourself for the next one. That's what I recommend my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's killing the game. Yeah, yeah. True. No, you don't learn just for, for so watching. So losing money is also a part of the crypto game. It is. Game. Yeah, you need to be willing to lose money. Yeah. I always tell. Actually, I was with a big celebrity in a retreat in Abu Dhabi two years ago. He's mm -hmm. huge. I won't say his name. Mm -hmm. He's very famous. And I, we were. I was with a bunch of famous people uh, from different countries, and then say, Ah, Andre, the crypto guy. Tell me how. Tell me about crypto. What shall I buy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I say, no, mate. You, the first rule in crypto, you have to be willing to lose money to learn. I said, I'm not jumping on that. I'm not doing that. And then he never jumped. But that's the recommendation I gave him. I was not going to give him, yeah, put him in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, you will be rich. No. Yeah. I told him that because people think it's going to be easy for them because they already have wealth. But no, they have also have to go to the process. Yeah. Uh, but in a it's my recommendation, like you do. I do also the 10% rule. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a normal job and you're making a thousand dollars a month, just put a hundred dollars aside, yeah, every month. And from those, it's the 10%, right? From those 10%, put, for example, five percent in Bitcoin, Ethereum, every month. Yeah, stable. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other 2.5%, just do altcoins like. Solana or yeah. Algorand or Polygon. Layer 2. Layer 2, like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the 2.5% that's remaining going to memes. Gamble. <laughs> so, yeah, gamble $25 of your $1,000. Yeah. You don't feel the heat. But also research and educate yourself every single yeah. day, right? So, in that case, that 10%, you are into crypto, but you are not risking everything. I have somebody in the family that talked about Bitcoin and she bought... 
about a thousand dollars four years ago and then she make a lot of money like of it, it was she make nearly 15,000 profit and she sold at the top and then she changed everything from my family. Nice. But she listened now she's she doing the operation 10%, 10%, 10%. Nice, yeah. Only one of 150 people in my family listen. Oh, <laughs> do you usually talk to your family when you have these family gatherings? Well, guys, now I will tell you about Bitcoin. I told them so many times mm -hmm. on Zoom calls and they see me in a stages with... Yeah. They see that my life changed. I still not believing. It's difficult. I, well, they're in Colombia, right? Yeah. Um, I have two people from my family that work in our team, so they believe. Mm -hmm. But after eight years, yeah. But most of my family, they, it's their mindsets or their economy or the political situation in Colombia, it, they don't. It doesn't let them to see clear. Mm. So in Colombia, we say sometimes you are not profit in your own land. It's, it's a mm. way to say. So you have to go to another country to be successful. Or you just have to stop watching TV and start uh, dedicating a lot of time to Yes, research. in Colombia we like a good life, to relax and stuff. Oh, yeah. And dance, uh, which is good. I want to go to Colombia. Col Come day. to Colombia when I go, next yes, time. Yes, I want to go there. You will like it. Oh, but okay. Colombia is very bullish into crypto, actually. Really? They are um, a lot of developers in Medellin, the capital of crypto in Colombia, Medellin, Colombia. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of expats and Europeans that move to Medellin that mm. are building projects because it's good. It's nice. a good weather, good food, but also the people is smart. People are so nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're so, so nice. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> the Colombia, Colombia way. So cool. Okay, Andres, maybe some final thoughts, some final, you know, wishes to our audience, uh, some, you know, motivational things or just uh, some good words. Well, guys, the most important thing to understand when you're watching these kind of videos is that the people that are creating the content, they're being through ups and downs. Yeah. You know, um, I'm going to talk to the content creators. It's not yeah. that easy. So we can talk about crypto. One rule, and that's why I like Maria a lot, is the highest content creators pay are the finance content creators, crypto, finance, whatever. But it takes a long time to get to a point that you are making good money so if you are seeing your friends because that happened to me eight years ago when i was in the nine to five people were laughing at me for doing motivational videos and content i did like a hundred videos on youtube oh and then so respect the game of the content creators and especially you are watching this it's not easy i know everybody has to be content creator for finance but it's the for me one of the best professions to have you learn a lot because you have to teach people that way you learn and also you have you get to build an audience community and connect with people so i'm going i got invited to the olympic games because of my look mm. I, I this is an inspiration for everybody yeah i've been in the grammys you know i've been in formula one now i'm going to the olympic games it wasn't because i was the smartest guy in the room or because i had the biggest wallet in there because you can't pay for stuff like that it was because i create content um People want content creators to enjoy the experience, and that would be my recommendation. Start to create content, educate your family, your friends, to explain about what is crypto, learn you first, and then you end up like, for example, Maria, that she also have a, an amazing life, but because she put the hours and she put the effort, and yeah, she's there creating content for you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for this podcast. Oh, so and much. hope to see you, thank you maybe Maria. soon. Very soon. Very soon. Espasiva. Muchas gracias. Adios, okay. amigos. Bye, guys. Ciao, ciao.